Hey everybody, Key Ray Dynamite here. So I was watching TV the other day, yesterday actually, and Legend of Korra was on and I was like, okay, let me just turn it on and like watch it for a little bit. And I turned to it and it was like not even five minutes and I was like, okay, I'm bored. So the thing is with Avatar The Last Airbender, I can watch, I rewatched that series at least four times, five maybe, but definitely at least four. I have the DVD box Blu-ray set, like I love this show. And when I saw Cora come on, I was like, why isn't it not rewatchable like I don't have any urge to watch Legend of Korra at all and I think it's because well one I'm going to discuss the characters the characters from Airbender and Legend of Korra are so different because they're more likable okay we have um Sokka okay he's silly but he's smart he thinks things through he's the planner you know but he's all you know he's funny but he, you know he's lovable you're like Sokka is the guy that you go to when you need something well thought out and planned but he can also make you laugh maybe he gets you what if you're you know his sister Katara you get a little annoyed with him sometimes Katara she she was a little uh, annoying like annoying just because she was like a control freak a little bit but she was still cool she was dependable you know if you need somebody go to Katara she's gonna help you she's gonna give you good advice you know she's she's bothering me she's crooked <laughs> okay whatever it's like, I'm, I'm, okay whatever. tough tough she can fight she doesn't take any bullcrap from anybody she is awesome okay Ang, fun, all right, brave. Um, he is willing to learn. He's willing to work hard. He's willing. He's he's not a know it all, and he's not um, self righteous. And he's he's just cool. Ang is a cool kid. He's awesome. Zuko, we love to see it. We love to see the character development. We love to see how he is becoming. Zuko from being a banished prince to being an awesome character that you're like wow look at his journey look at him like come on now how can you not love Zuko and the relate it Iroh do I even have like Iroh come on everyone loves Iroh I have yet to meet a person who didn't like Iroh as a character like Iroh is awesome he gives you that sage advice and he makes you tea like Iroh is that guy. Um, an awesome villain, okay? We have Azula, who is amazing. She she will kick your butt and she won't feel sorry about it, but there's a reason why she's that way. Uh, Fire Lord Ozai, woo, okay? He was horrible. Um, he was an abuser, you know, manipulative to his family. Um, so we have all these characters. We have the villain. We have the story. We see that Aang has to work hard to, and he has to grow up. And his, just character development all around for everybody, okay? It's just amazing. We switch to Korra. Korra's a know-it-all. She doesn't have to work for anything except being an airbender. She's a horrible person. <laughs> she is just horrible. Um, we have Mako, who is a player. Um, he's horrible. Um, he doesn't say, he doesn't think that it's important to apologize to Korra or Asami. And correct me if I'm wrong, because it's been a while since I've watched it because I just don't enjoy the series like that. Um, we have Bolin, who is funny but I mean like what else is there you know I mean he's caring towards his friends and like it's like okay Bolin Bolin's cool this thing is really this one this one thing is like bothering me um Bolin's cool but he is there's not you know he's there to have a crush on core he's there for comedic comedic relief I mean he kicks butt in the arena, but I mean, okay. So we have Asami, who's cool. She's the cool girl, you know. She's like, I'm rich. I'm not really a horrible person. Like Asami's cool, and she's thoughtful. She cares about her friends. 
um so you know then we have tenzin all right we have tenzin okay tenzin ang's son and what did they do to this character they made him look weak y'all they made him look so weak like why was tenzin not winning a lot of battles he's ang's son he should be powerful. He should know how to use his airbending correctly. He should know how to fight. And how they were writing Tenzin as like this character who was just there for Korra and like not kicking butt like he should. I was really disappointed. I was like Tenzin should be get getting more credit than this. Like he really should. Um, we have Toph's daughter. She's just like Toph. She kicks butt. She's tough. She's awesome. Um, and... We, the villains we have like how many villains did we have <laughs> we had so many different villains um i'm not even gonna name them all but we had like at least three different villains okay and then we had the whole thing with the avatar uh lineage and line and um cora is not rewatchable characters all right we just had this the development wasn't there really i mean I feel like Korra was just a jerk for a long time and then you know, she she worked hard I guess like uh, like Aang was just he had to grow up very fast and he had to learn all these things that he wasn't ready for and then we have Korra on the first episode I mean which was a very cute I'm the avatar moment um but I mean like they I feel like they didn't take a lot of time with the characters as much as they could have especially with air team avatar i mean i know that i was disappointed but that's just me um and like there was so many love triangles going on like with avatar the last airbender i feel like there was just enough romance in it like it wasn't too much but with <clears throat> core it was just like sami and core and mako and Korra then Bolin and Korra then we had a Sami and I feel like a Sami had like another love interest at one point and I'm just like okay I, I understand that they're like 18 19 20 or whatever but we don't need all of this like I want to see her fight I want to see her learn the the, the elements I want to see her fight I want to see the ultimate villain the thing with Avatar is they had multiple villains okay they did but they didn't have to have a bunch of stuff going on we knew the big bad guy we knew ang would face off with the big bad guy but they were just little they were just little villains like <laughs> coming coming towards uh the the as the show went on there were little villains and then we went up to iroh who was the big bad uh ozai who was the big bad but with Korra, it was just every season it was like something new and i'm like i don't feel like that was I, they had I feel like they had to do it because she wasn't learning new elements every season and so they instead chose to have different villains every season as opposed to different elements which I would have been fine going on a different story with a different avatar learning the different element I didn't feel like I was going on this journey with everyone um and the villain like the only good villain and I can't think of his name which you know should tell you <laughs> it wasn't that very it wasn't a very memorable series um the guy with the bald head like I think he was a really good villain because he was like hey we need to take down these people who have bending abilities because they come in for us and um you know I think also the themes whereas Avatar the last airbender was like serious undertones but it could also be funny whereas Korra it was just I feel like it was just like a lot of teenage drama if I wanted to watch teenage drama I would have turned on Degrassi okay I would have turned on something on ABC NBC so you know I'm I a little drama is fine or uh, romance drama is fine but like to consume it I feel like it was doing like too much for me but yeah, that's why I can't rewatch Korra. I don't have the, ever the urge to go back and be like, oh yeah, I'm gonna watch Korra. That was a good series. No, like that doesn't happen ever. No, Avatar, yes. I will put in the DVD. I will do my homework and like watch and laugh and um, just enjoy it. Like thoroughly, actually really, really enjoy it. Um, so yeah, that's the video. I just wanted to talk about it. And also something that I was really mad about, 
them cutting off the line of the avatars like that is the point of the avatar state you go back and like hey i need some help now of course opening the spirit world like okay that's cool and everything we got to see iroh we got to see katara and like uh, but why why cut like why like i'm still mad at that don't do that oh they already did but i'm just really upset if they ever bring back the avatar series with someone new i don't want it because now the avatar state is gone and i can't look forward to seeing ang and uh oh crap i forgot his name but <laughs> zuko's grandfather like i can't see all that so you know what's what's it what's it all about what's it all for you know so anyway that's what i want to talk about and yeah i'll probably watch i'll probably make a video about um the airbender series for netflix and what i don't want to happen and what i'd like to see zutar maybe ang tar uh ang is tar ang ang tar i think i don't know um and mistakes that i will not tolerate that happen with the live action movie okay not again not i have to go because i can't even think about it i can't even think about it right now okay Kiri Dynamite out. Thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, and yeah. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. See ya.